Hello, this is Dr. Jeff Craig, Superintendent of the West Aurora Schools, and welcome to our board recaps. Today, we will summarize the winter board meetings for December 2023 and January 2024, beginning with our December 11 meeting. We began with the public hearing. The meeting began with our public hearing regarding the proposed property tax levy increase. This is an annual function and no public comments were received, so the hearing was closed. In information items, Dr. Sarah Waddell, Executive Director of Elementary Teaching and Learning, presented an overview of the district's elementary mathematics curriculum. She presented an interactive math problem to the board to demonstrate how math is taught at the various grade levels. Mrs. Ana Gonzalez, Director of Community Affairs, provided updates on some recent events such as winter band and choir concerts, the annual Madrigal Dinner, and the many holiday celebrations that were hosted before the winter break. In discussion items, Dr. Angie Smith presented the letter of recommendation for the asbestos work at Hope D. Wall School. This was for two different areas, the ceiling and the gym floor. The recommendations for these projects were then approved during the January 8 meeting. In action items, the board approved the five-year lease cycle for four 2024 micro bird gasoline 14 passenger buses for a total not to exceed $18,259.84 per lease. The board approved the purchase of 37 2025 Bluebird gas school buses at a price not to exceed $5 million. The board approved the authorization of West Aurora School District to match funds to those provided through the School Maintenance Project Grant for at least $50,000 to be used for capital project replacement of interior doors at West High. The board approved the resolution abating a portion of the tax heretofore levied for the year 2023 to pay debt service on the taxable general obligation school bonds series 2015A, also on the taxable general obligation school building bonds series 2016 and taxable general obligation bonds series 2017C. Finally, the board approved and authorized the amount stated on the certificate of tax levy and adopted the resolution authorizing and directing tax levy. Now on to our January 8 board meeting. In consent agenda, the board approved two new administrators. Mrs. Lisa Rausch was approved as the executive director of student support programs, and Mr. Ron Murphy was approved as the executive director of human resources. Both appointments will begin July 1, 2024. In information items, Dr. Sarah Waddell was back to discuss the district's elementary literacy plan. She reviewed the Illinois Comprehensive Literacy Plan and shared how the standards are linked to goals and planning. Dr. Waddell has established a committee that will begin working on choosing a comprehensive core literacy program for the district to be used at the elementary level. In her community affairs update, Mrs. Ana Gonzalez shared details about West High's College, Career and Wellness Fair and the upcoming Power of Us Day for staff. In discussion items, Mr. Pat Dacey, Capital Projects Manager, presented the recommendation for the next set of renovation projects that will happen at Hall, McCleary, Nicholson, and Schneider Elementary Schools. The contract was recommended to be awarded to Construction Solutions of Illinois, Inc. for a total contract amount of $2,772,723. This was then approved at the January 22 board meeting. Now on to our January 22nd board meeting. In those who make a difference, the board recognized Mr. Juan Diaz and Mr. Jose Alvarez, custodial maintenance staff, for their part in rescuing a missing toddler and helping to reunite the child with their family. In information items, Dr. Whitney Martino, Assistant Principal of Teaching and Learning at West High, presented an overview of some of the student supports that are available at the high school. The three programs she highlighted were the Academic Readiness Class, or ARC, Success Through Academic Recovery, known as STAR, and Advancement via Individual Determination, or AVID. She went through each program's purpose and the student population they served, along with videos featuring students in the programs. Mrs. Liz Wendell, Executive Director of Secondary Teaching and Learning, presented the recommendations for secondary resources for next year. For each subject, committees are formed and resources are put through the criteria to determine what would be the best fit for our curriculum. 
Mrs. Wendell presented recommendations for various courses throughout the secondary level. Those will all be on display for 30 days before being approved by the board. In discussion items, Mr. Pat Daisy, Capital Projects Manager, presented the recommendation for the next set of renovation projects that will happen at Freeman and Smith Elementary Schools, Washington Middle School, and Hope Wall. The contract was recommended to be awarded to Construction Solutions of Illinois, Inc. for a total contract amount of $3,258,723. This will be up for approval during the February 5 meeting. And that's it for the school board meetings recap. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you next time. Thank you.